Hi everybody, welcome back to The Sims 4. I'm Sips and I will be guiding you through the chronicles of Tony Bateman. <laughs> you can see in the bottom right corner. Tony Bateman um, has permanent clown paint on his face and has aspirations of becoming a law enforcement official. Um, unfortunately, there is no law enforcement career path in The Sims 4, so he's had to settle for being an artist instead, which is kind of cool. Um, so, thank you very much for all the feedback. Thanks very much for all the likes and all the great comments. Very motivational stuff on the Evening with Sips uh, episode of The Sims 4. Uh, it was really fun to do. Uh, so we're going to do a series on this. We're going to chronicle the life and times of Tony Bateman, see who he can pick up along the way, and just see how he gets on in life. Maybe we'll play until he dies. Maybe we'll play until I get bored. We'll have to see. It's up to you guys. We're going to record this a bit differently than we normally do. Uh, instead of doing big, huge batch sessions of recording, uh, I'm going to record these uh, one at a time. Uh, and take a lot of feedback from you guys as, as to the kind of stuff that you want Tony to do, the kind of stuff that you want him to see. We'll do all sorts of really fun stuff, hopefully. Um, I had this idea as well that if you want to submit some fan art uh, for Tony to show your support for Tony, um, that would be really great. If you submit some fan art, check the description. There's some details on ways that you can submit fan art to me uh, for Tony as well. Uh, we'll try to showcase it in the series and we'll set up like a wall of shame as well where Tony can paint a picture and dedicate it to you. Put your name on it uh, and then you can have some sort of... Uh, like ownership of a small part of Tony's world if that's your thing <laughs> if you want to do that if not don't worry about it maybe the wall of shame will just be totally empty but it might be fun to fill it up with people who send in uh, pictures fan art that they've done uh, like I said check the description for details on that uh, for the meantime though let's uh, jump in and see what Tony Bateman is up to today I think when we last left off he was um, going to his first day of work uh, so we'll have to see how he gets on. Okay, so apparently when we last left Tony, he was sitting on his um, highly flamboyant ass <laughs> watching TV. What the hell is he watching? Figure skating by the look of it? It looks like he's watching some sort of figure skating championship and seems to be having a really good time too. All right, Tony. Good stuff. Where's the pictures? Oh, yeah, I remember now. The Grand fucking Canyon is right here. Uh, it is quality okay, and also the Grand Fucking Canyon 2 quality okay, and I think that there's this one too, just like a basket of apples <laughs> made by Tony Bateman. The quality is good. He's getting better. Great. He's been practicing his violin and guitar and also practicing painting. Tony, is there anything like desperately that you need to be doing right now? You need to take some sort of shower, Tony. You stink. What if, like, Eduardo comes over and has to smell you? Come on, Tony. In you go. Whip those clothes off. Come on. Leave the clown face paint on. <laughs> it's gonna wash off in the water. Luckily, he's had it tattooed to his face. So even the steamiest of showers won't affect his face paint tattoo of a clown. A smiling clown. Even though when he's sad, you know... Still happy. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> it's Eduardo. <laughs> and what an opportune time for him to visit as well. Eduardo, we'll greet you in like two seconds. We'll invite you in as soon as we're done our shower. Look at this. Well, actually, we could probably cancel our shower halfway. Oh, look at this. Just two of the greatest friends that you could ever imagine. Now, together, inside Tony's house. Just sort of awkwardly standing there and not really talking to each other. You want to call someone on the phone, Tony? Wouldn't it be funny if you called Eduardo on the phone? <laughs> you can't. He's here already. We're going to have to call Travis Scott and have a chat with him while Eduardo's here. Eduardo, go find something else to do. Jeez, Tony's got like a whole bunch of stuff that he needs to do. He needs to hug someone. As soon as he's done talking to Travis, Eduardo, you're number one on the hit list. going to hug you to death. No? Oh, he's done already. Eduardo, want to have a hug? Heartfelt compliment. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment. Maybe that'll lead into hugging. Oh my god. What an attractive man. And then, uh, of course, there's... There's Tony. I wonder how Eduardo can keep a straight face right now while he's talking to Tony. Look, Tony's just turning on the TV casually while Eduardo is mid-sentence on video game controllers. No problem. Eduardo has some what looks to be like 
purple yeah. earrings? What kind of gem is that? Is that like an amethyst or something? It must be an amethyst. All right. Well, it looks like Tony's getting a bit hungry. Maybe we can put together some sort of like fantastic meal. There seems to be some... What is this? There's a hamburger cake here. And the quality is still good. Okay, let's take a piece of hamburger cake together, Eduardo. Look, there's, there's a whole bunch of like green smoke coming off of it, which might signify that it's gone bad. But the quality still says good. So if we get sick, we're going to get sick together. Look, two dudes getting sick to... Oh, what's this? Unpleasant surroundings. Oh no, Tony is sad despite his happy smile at the unpleasant surroundings. Eduardo, we have no sort of eye on how Eduardo's feeling. All we know is that, man, he is up for a chat. Look at that. He's just non-stop. He's like a motor mouth. Poor Tony. Looks like he's getting pretty bored, too. Look at that. He's not even eating his cake. He's talking about grilled cheese sandwiches. Eduardo doesn't like grilled cheese sandwiches. This hamburger cake has been... Holy shit, what a boon. Look at that. Look at the hunger meter. It's just filling up like there's no tomorrow. Good job, Tony. Look at you go. Oh, look, he's a little bit sad still. I guess he did okay on his first day of work. He seems to be back from it anyway. Should we check to see how he's doing with his job? Inventory, no. His pallet cleaner job, which starts in 12 hours. Oh, he's got really good performance. Look at this. View or admire three different works of art. He's only done that once. Oh, maybe he can, like, admire. View, okay. He can view his own goddamn art, and we can maybe achieve this. Maybe he'll get, like, a get some sort of like promotion at work maybe the next step in this line of work is like i don't know cleaning out the inside of the bottles of the paint uh, and then making them into water bottles for people come on tony what are you what are you waiting for look he's got some stomach pains oh he's having a really good admire about that painting that he painted the other day called just a bunch of apples all right tony Time to... Oh, no, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want, want to work on a painting because it seems to be bedtime. Tony is making a rookie mistake. Well, Tony's going to bed while he has company over, which is, of course, a bit weird. Eduardo's just left. Uh, but also, he's made a rookie mistake. He forgot to go to the bathroom before he went to bed. And I don't think I really could have done anything about it either. So now Tony is in this precarious situation where he's going to have to wake up in the middle of the night and take one of his signature night dumps. Uh, because, as we all know, that's what Tony's all about. The guy is just incapable of pissing. He has to poo every fucking time. So he's going to get up in the middle of the night. He's going to interrupt his sleep. And he's going to be all grouchy tomorrow for his big day at work. Poor Tony. There we go. Look, didn't I call it? What time is it? It's 2.35 in the morning. And Tony wearing his slippers. Why is he walking like all pigeon-footed like that? I guess it's because he's... Oh, there he goes. What's that, like, eight for eight now? Tony has never stood up to go to the bathroom as a man, which I find a little bit disconcerting. He's getting a bit hungry, and his hygiene is, is lacking, but it is 2.50 in the morning, uh, and he could probably do with a little bit more sleep. Tony, we're sending you back to sleep. You flush that down. <laughs> if it's brown, flush it down. That's like cottage rules, isn't it? I don't know if you've ever stayed at a cottage before, but the plumbing is always, like, really weak, and it always goes into a septic tank because it's not, like, plumbed up to, like, I don't know, the main system or whatever. So there's a, a rule in cottage country. If it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. And that's the rule. So every time you go to the bathroom after somebody's taken a pee, you have to look at their pee, and it's disgusting. Uh, and Tony is also feeling disgusting. Take a steamy one. Take a real steamy one, Tony. You deserved it. Look at this. When is he working? He's due to go to work in two hours. He's got just enough time to take a real steamer here. Look at this. Oh, look. Tony's all of a sudden feeling tense. Uh, it looks like... Uh, take a shower from being tense. Click on the shower to select a shower type. Showers and baths will help calm Tony and alleviate stress. Well, we just did. We're taking a steamy shower, like, right now. Should we take, like, a steamy oh it can make him flirty oh shit tony's feeling a bit flirty after taking a steamy shower <laughs> holy shit what about this uh okay let's take a brisk one instead can you take a brisk shower no he's already in the shower now he's all feeling all tense for his second day at work what the hell how's he gonna cope 
He's going to go crazy. He's going to be wound up tight like a spring. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's not going to be able to clean any of those pallets out. He's not going to be able to aspire to cleaning out the bottles and making water bottles after that. He's never going to be able to become a law enforcement officer when the DLC finally comes out for this game that didn't ship with the law enforcement career as it did in every other game in this series, which was kind of weird. What the hell is Tony going to do? And I just missed that message, too, that came up. Tony... Come on, how long do you need to take a shower for? Look, we can see. You've been taking a shower for an hour and ten minutes. How does it feel? <laughs> he's just got, like, geriatric skin now. He's all pruny and soft. Hmm. What's wrong now? You're going to have to take something quick. Look, have a quick breakfast. Look, have a quick orange juice. There you go. Tony's going to have orange juice for his breakfast before work because he spent so much goddamn time in the shower. He doesn't have time anymore. Tony, I have a feeling that today is going to be a bit of a disaster for you. Although, you are feeling flirty. <laughs> and feeling flirty before you go to work can only be a good thing for a single guy with clown face paint on his face like Tony. I feel like today is going to be the greatest day of Tony's life. What do you think, Tony? He's just having some orange juice. Look at that. It's not even swirling around or anything. He's all smiles this morning. Much like every morning. Fucking <laughs> Tony. Great smile, Tony. Alright, time to go to work, Tony. I think you're actually a bit late. Look, you're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to stop drinking the orange juice. Look, it's gonna go all farty on the table now. Go to work. Go to work. Alright. He's just gonna sort of, like, lumber his way to work with that goofy-ass walk of his. Oh, look. He just teleports to work. It's incredible. Ah, there we go. Uh, the time is just flying by now. I wonder how Tony's going to do at work today. Eduardo, what the hell? He's not home. He's still at work. Jeez, we're all waiting for him to get back. We've been waiting for, like, the whole day. Nothing has happened, Eduardo. You're you're quite welcome to... No? Okay, he's gone. <laughs> Eduardo tried to visit Tony while he was at work, and now he's gone. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Tony's aspiration of becoming fabulously wealthy is on track. Look, another day of work complete. He had a flirty day at work. Now that he's home, he's feeling happy. Look at that, Tony. You are one son of a bitch. All right, Tony. Time to drink the rest of your orange juice. Um, you're going to end the day like you started it, drinking the same goddamn glass of orange juice. How does it feel, Tony? How much money does Tony have? 4,623 big ones. Holy shit. Tony is getting rich. He can probably afford to get some cool stuff. Does he need any cool stuff, though? I don't think so, actually. Let's do a pop art painting. Come on, let's do a large pop art painting for a hundred bucks. He's gonna spend a hundred bucks on the supplies that he needs for this large pop art painting. What's it gonna be? Oh my god, it's gonna be a big one. We're gonna kick off this wall of shame uh, for fan art and stuff with this picture. Once he's done with it, we'll actually um, commemorate the picture as uh, being the uh, induction to the Wall of Shame. Uh, and then hopefully, um, if you guys are up for it, you can do some fan art and send it to me um, using the details in the description, and we can uh, populate a whole wall filled with paintings uh, named after you uh, for your services to the fan art world. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Tony is going to take like uh, fucking 12 hours to do this. Let's fucking speed it up and, and finish it off. Come on. There we go. Look at that. What a little ditty. Look at what he's done. It's like a picture of some sort of like princess or like a maid or something. Wow, fucking holy shit. I can't believe it. Okay, let's name it. Uh, let's call it Welcome to the Wall of Shame. There we go. It's called Welcome to the Wall of Shame. It's the commemorative... Um, painting that has opened up the uh, wall of shame and we want to make sure that we put it onto the wall of shame which will be like here i guess we're just going to shove them all over this wall and if we need to we'll extend the wall and stuff too it'd be great uh let's put it like right here great okay good job tony i think you should actually admire it now as well because uh you need to do that sort of stuff to uh get a leg up in your career look at that holy shit he's feeling pretty good discuss color theory at the museum Hey, fucking Tony, you want to go to the museum? What time is it? It's like 7.41 in the evening, though. And I think he's got work tomorrow. It might be a bit risky. He's got work in 14 hours. Oh, shit, look at that. We've admired another piece of art. Should we do this one, too? Do you admire three different works of art? Man, Tony's going to get promoted. I can't believe it. Already. That's great. Uh, before he does that, though, Tony, 
Oh, look at this. <laughs> you can resume your garden salad that I didn't realize you'd started making. Oh, look. He's going to make a garden salad and hopefully kiss someone, uh, namely Eduardo, and earn 500 bucks. Need to earn 500 bucks somehow. Maybe we can, like, sell some street art or something. That would be fucking cool, actually. I'd be up for that. All right, Tony. Make your stupid garden salad. Make it quick, uh, and then uh, maybe you're going to have to have some fun as well before bed. Because, look, your fun meter is dipping drastically low. I wonder if maybe Eduardo's up for coming over after you've had your thing. Let's call him up and see. Eduardo was looking for you today, Tony. He came by. While you were at work, he was really missing you, which is kind of weird. Uh, but I'm sure he'd love to hear from you if you give him a call and invite him over and you guys can, like, I don't know, fucking talk about some shit or whatever. Yeah. Okay, he's done it. Eduardo will be right over whilst Tony... Look at... Tony's like a true multitasker. In the middle of eating a garden salad... Oh, shit, look. Eduardo didn't... Look at that. He didn't waste, like, any time. Like, we're going to describe a new idea to Eduardo. Hold off on that, Tony. Look, you're not even that hungry anymore. You can just leave it there to go bad. You got bigger fish to fry. Look, we have to... We need to... We need to cover this one. We need to kiss Eduardo. Because he's the only person that it's likely to happen with... Um, Anytime soon. Oh. Look at that. What a great idea. Eduardo's like all on board for that. Tony's describing how uh, even though there is no law enforcement career path in this game, he's going to do it anyway, manually, just by like finding clothes that look like a cop's uniform and having me help him role play all across the town. And Eduardo thinks that that's just a splendid idea. And I don't blame him either. Eduardo knows when an idea is good. And he sort of recognizes that by doing a fist pump in the air. And Tony, meanwhile, just sort of does like the chicken dance to uh, signify that he's also very excited. Oh! Look at that! They've just had a hug together. Now they're doing a selfie together, too! Oh my god, Tony's pretty fucking happy about that. Oh, can we kiss now? Get to know. More choices. Where's the ki- Oh. Should we do like a romance with him? We desperately need this to make him feel good. We can do like a ask if single. Let's ask Eduardo if he's single. Tony, now's not the time for a large classic painting. We want to ask... We want to ask if he's single. Come on, Eduardo. Spill the beans. Are you or are you not with somebody right now? We're desperate to know. Yeah? He's thinking about Tony. It's a pretty casual discussion now, but it could it could heat up. What do you think? He is single! Oh my lord! He looks a little bit angry, though. Should we, like, do some... Should we flirt with him? No, he's pretty pissed. He's talking about cars. He gets all fired up when he's talking about cars. Okay, we're gonna flirt with him a bit. Oh, shit, he loves that! Oh! <laughs> su -su. Holy fuck, he really liked that. Maybe we're actually gonna be able to get a kiss in here. Okay. Should we kiss his hands? Uh, ask on a date? Compliment appearance. Confess attraction. Eduardo, Tony's got something to tell you. It's been a long time coming, Eduardo, but Tony... Oh. Oh, poor Tony. Oh, he's really embarrassed. Too soon, Tony. Too soon. You blew your load way too soon with Eduardo. Look at that. Okay. Take a picture together? Ask about day. A self-deprecating joke already. See, Tony's already embarrassed. So much so, actually, that he's just going to go to bed? Okay. Well, bye, Eduardo. <laughs> Tony's decided to go to bed. Ah, well, okay, fine. Just make yourself at home. That's fine, too. You just stay here and read books and watch TV and pace around the living room while Tony sleeps. It's no problem. Tony's got a big day at work tomorrow. He's got work in nine hours. He's going to go to work, and he's hopefully going to get his flamboyant ass promoted. Can you believe that? I hope they don't put him in charge of anything, like, serious or whatever, because, of course, Tony's got, like, um, you know, pink hair and clown face paint tattooed to his face. No. Eduardo just got sick of waiting around anyway and left. That's fine. Tony's just going to sleep it out. Um, are we going to get like a midnight dump again? No, I think we're going to be okay, actually. He can take a... Whoa, actually, I don't know. It's like almost 3 o'clock and that bladder is, is definitely dropping. He's going to get woken up early. Oh, no. Oh, Tony, not again. 
Another night of interrupted sleep. He's going to be so grouchy. And he's already feeling embarrassed about his, um, his attempts to confess his attraction to Eduardo. Is Tony actually attracted to Eduardo? It's hard to tell. I mean, I don't know if he is, actually. I, th I don't think Tony realizes that all we're doing is trying to, like, sort of check a box in the game to get, like, more points. See, we just want to kiss someone. It can be anyone. It doesn't even need to really be Eduardo. All right. Well, there's the familiar shuffle, and it looks like, yep, I knew it. We're nine for nine. That's nine times that Tony has been to the bathroom, and that's nine times that he's decided to sit down to go to the bathroom. He's pretty hungry now, too. All right, Tony, don't worry. We'll sort you out. All right, one hour to go before Tony starts work. It looks like we're doing okay, hunger-wise and everything. We should be good to go, actually. Uh, we'll change our outfit to... Ooh, party one. Oh, oh Tony. <laughs> Life and soul of the party. Look at his party outfit. is incredible. He's got like a Mr. Rogers cardigan that's all buttoned up with matching green pants. And what looks to be... Yep, look at those fine Italian dress shoes in brown. Look, he's not feeling too good about it. What's he actually doing now? Tony, what are you doing? Oh, he's browsing the web on his phone. Holy shit, what a day and age we live in, isn't it? Where you can just browse the web on your phone. He's feeling all flirty. He wants to tell a dirty joke to somebody. We still need to make 500 bucks and we still need to kiss someone. And also, in a minute, it's time for Tony to go to work. Tony, you ready to go to work? He's just like washing his hands, I guess. What are you... Yeah, he's washing his hands. That's good. He's going to feel all good before he goes to... Eduardo, now is not the time. I mean, we can tell you a really dirty joke, though. Should we tell, like, a dirty joke? More choices. How do we tell a dirty joke? Dirty joke? Romance? No. Mischief. A dirty joke. Invite to a fake party. Lie about career. Let's scare him. Come on, Tony. Don't go to work right now. Tony's boss may not think... Oh, fine. Okay. Are you sure he should? Cancel. He's going to work. Sorry, Eduardo. We'll scare you some other time. Okay, off he goes. All right, Tony. Tony's at work now. Eduardo saw him leave for work, but has decided to just stand at his door anyway, sort of talking to himself and knocking on the door. Eduardo, come back another time. Tony's at work. He's trying to get his big promotion today, too. Look at this. He's at work until 5 p.m. Great. Okay. Let's see. Oh, fumes. Tony accidentally inhales some turpentine fumes while cleaning the community ed room. Shit. Would a responsible employee take a rest and recover, or should he power through the shift? <sighs> what would Tony do? Let's take a minute and really contemplate this. Is Tony the kind of guy who would get sidetracked or even knocked back in some wimpy way by a couple of harmless turpentine fumes? Or is he the kind of man-beast that would just power through the whole thing? He is. He's a man-beast. Tony, with his bright pink hair and his uh, really amazing face paint, is going to go on a turpentine cleaning spree. On his big... Whoa! Why is the room upside down? Tony doubles down and finishes mopping the ceiling before the end of his shift. Uh-oh. I don't know if that was good or bad. I think that may have hampered our chances of getting promoted at work, too. Tony is dazed and needs to sleep it off. Eduardo is back at his house, knocking at the door. Eduardo turns up like two or three times a day, which is kind of creepy when Tony's at work, looking for Tony. You think, like, they're almost really good friends. You think Eduardo would know, like, his fucking schedule, but no, doesn't seem to. It's kind of weird. Okay, well, we're just waiting for Tony to get back, uh, and we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for Tony to get back, uh, we'll probably wrap up here. We'll wait for him to get back. We'll see how he does. We'll see if he gets promoted or whatever. That would be great. Um, in the meantime, check the description. Uh, if you want to send in some fan art and do this wall of shame thing, I think it would be really fun, actually. It would be really good. Uh, so check the description for info on what you need to do uh, for that. If you like this series and you want to see it keep going, um, let me know about it. Let me know on Reddit. Let me know in the YouTube comments. Leave a like or a fave. All that good stuff. Uh, there are all ways that I can tell whether or not people are still like enjoying a series or whatever. Um, like I said, the first video did really well. Uh, it was really great to see all of the sort of positive comments from people saying that they'd like to see a series. Got lots of likes and great stuff as well. Um, so keep at it. We did it. Look at that. We've been promoted to Art Book Collator. Holy shit, Tony. Good job. I can't believe it. What are your needs? He needs to... Oh, he doesn't even need to sleep off the days anymore. I guess just getting promoted was enough. Tony's just going to stand there, sort of looking at nothing and doing nothing. 
All right, well, for me, I say goodbye from Tony. Tony probably says goodbye if he wasn't in like such a turpentine field uh, days. He's going to go think about money and take a shower now, I guess. Um, but join us next time where we continue the life and times of Tony Bateman, uh, his romantic endeavors, uh, his career path of uh, doing paintings and getting good at painting and stuff. We still have some stuff to do around that. We have to research art reference twice now, uh, which I have no idea what that does. Um, and also need to think about what we want to do next in terms of pimping out his house. I think the next thing that we should look at doing is pimping out the outside area. Maybe like have a deck and some lawn chairs and stuff. A nice place for him to sit down and talk to all of his friends and stuff like that. If you think that's a good idea, let me know. If you have any ideas for how you'd like that to look, also let me know. Reddit, YouTube comments, uh, those are the two places that I check the most often. So if you need to let me know anything, uh, let, you, let me know. I'm not going to record another one of these until this video has actually gone out. So your feedback should matter. Uh, I'm not going to have like four months worth of videos uh, all lined up for this. I'm going to record them as and when. I think it'll be more fun that way. And it makes it so that I can act on your feedback too. So great. All right. Well, we say goodbye to you. And thanks for watching. And also, see you next time.